Hi, YFE family. It's so good to be here with you again. We are celebrating Pesach soon, and it is spring. It's Aviv. In Aviv, the earth comes back to life, ice melts, the sun comes out, flowers bloom. You might be seeing flowers blooming all over the place where you are. Um, animals are being born, crawling out of hibernation. And so our essential question that we're asking is why do we celebrate Passover in the springtime? Aviv connects us to new beginnings and hope. So in the Passover story, after the Israelites escaped slavery and emerged as free people, they kind of emerged like flowers, how the flowers are emerging out of the earth right now. The egg on the Seder plate reminds us of the cycle of life and new beginnings. It's round. Also, like a Seder plate is round, right, for the cycles of life. Um, the Carpas parsley is one of the first green herbs to peek out of the soil in early spring around this time. And so this is the perfect time to gather and press flowers and leaves, and we can use those to decorate the Passover table with. So we can use our pressed botanicals to decorate our wine glasses, our Elijah cup, Miriam's cup, coasters for our glasses, Haggadah bookmarks, which my co-teacher Denise is going to show you how to make. Uh, we can also make placemats and more. What else can you think to make with these? Materials that you're definitely going to want are flowers and leaves to press. So you can maybe find those in your backyard or in the park nearby or around the neighborhood. You kind of want them to be flat-ish. Um, so the more flat they are, the easier they will be to press. Just a quick note on the honorable harvest. When you're harvesting your plants and flowers, introduce yourself to the plant and ask permission to pick them. Thank the plant for its gift to you. Never take the first plant or the last in an area and never take more than half. Leave some for others, take only what you need respectfully use and share what you have harvested. Give a gift in reciprocity for what you have taken. So you'll also want something to press your flowers with. So we're gonna show you two techniques. One is um, just simply pressing, putting them in between newspapers. So in, in the middle of the section of a newspaper, fold it up so it's covered and place it under a lot of weight. So I used a big stack of books, art books, um, and you're going to want to leave those in there for about a week until they're totally dry, kind of depending on how, um, how thin um, and juicy your plants are. Um, another way that you can press your flowers and, and leaves, which is how Denise is going to show you how to do it, is a little faster, and that is by ironing them. Um, the other thing you're going to want is some sort of clear laminating material. Um, to put our pressed leaves and flowers in so that you can see them but they're kind of um, preserved inside so maybe you have some contact paper lying around maybe you have some sheet protectors or some uh, photo transparencies wax paper could work um, so just see what you have lying around the house I bet you have something um, saran wrap might work. It might be a little bit thin, but in a pinch you could probably get away with it. Packing tape can also work for laminating, uh, which is what Denise is using for her bookmarks. Um, and you can also grab some paper. So either that can be used as a background if you don't want it to be see-through and if you want it to have some sort of white background, then use white paper or a colored background. Um, and you can also use some paper to cut out the letters for Pesach or Chag Ha'aviv, which I'm attaching a link to those words in Hebrew. If you want to print them out and cut them or look at them as a reference to write them out yourself, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to cut them out and put them in with my flowers and leaves. I also have scissors, paper, and I have some contact paper. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start by cutting out my Chag Ha'aviv letters. So either I can handwrite those 
and cut them out with scissors. Uh, another thing you can do is take your printout and put your colored paper under it and cut that out or you can just cut out the printout itself. Since I'm using my embroidery hoop I figured out what size I want my contact paper to be and I pressed it so that I can see where the borders are. I peeled the contact paper because it's sticky and I'm just pressing the plants and flowers and the cutout letters on my contact paper. Now if you don't have a sticky surface, if you're just using uh, plastic sheets, then what you're going to do is put dabs of glue on the plastic and then place your leaf or flower on top so that it doesn't move. And if you are using a non-sticky sheet, use tape to close off the edges. Okay, so here it is. So now I'm ready to put my second layer on top and I'm just burnishing it with that, those scissors to get all the air bubbles out. And then I put it in my embroidery hoop. So um, if you're not using an embroidery hoop, you can just cut the edges out so that it's a clean border. Um, and I'll show you if you wanna make a paper border, we're gonna do that now with my coaster. So I traced the circle that I want my coaster to be, and then I folded it in half and cut kind of a rainbow out so that it's a circular frame outline. So now I'm going to peel away my contact paper and I'm gonna place my frame, circle frame on top, and then I'm gonna place my flowers and plants. And then when I filled up that area and I like how it looks, I'm gonna put my second sheet of contact paper down on top of it. Now again, if you're using non-sticky plastic, then you're just gonna um, glue everything down onto the bottom sheet of plastic and then put the um, top sheet on top and tape, it, tape the edges together or glue it together. And there we are, there's my coaster. I'm so excited about my new coaster and my new sun catcher for Passover. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. As always, email me with any questions, arosen at emmanuelsf.org. And follow the links below for some tutorials if you're still a little confused. We would love to see what you're making. So please take a lot of photos and upload your favorites onto our shared Google Photos album, which we will send a link to. All right, sending hugs. Bye.